Ruminants probably react differently to mycotoxins because the rumen acts as a filter. In the rumen, microorganisms can detoxify and destroy the pathogenic power of these mycotoxins. However, the same microorganisms can transform these mycotoxins into other mycotoxins or mycotoxin derivatives, which themselves may have a pathogenic power which is greater than it was originally. This leads to a series of illnesses, a general lowering of performance, more mastitis, less milk, cows which do not reproduce and which appear tired, and stillborn calves. I personally came across one case, it was a case of acute symptoms in calves, but more often than not it is a case of chronic contamination with low but repeated ingestion of small quantities of mycotoxins which gradually accumulate in the animal and gradually have an effect. It is very difficult to diagnose. The economic impact is certainly directly dependent on non-production, which can be calculated in precise figures.